Warning, the following video contains spoilers for Rogue One, a Star Wars story. Guys, you've seriously got to learn how to spell Rogue. You member A New Hope. You member Darth Vader. Now, prepare to member the handful of years between the rise of Darth Vader and the start of A New Hope. We call it the Death Star. Uh-oh. They're gonna just rehash everything from Star Wars, aren't they? I've got a bad feeling about it. Hey. Rouge One, a Star Wars story. Get ready for Disney's first Star Wars anthology movie, because there's no way in hell they'd call it Star Wars prequel number four, and what has to be the most money anyone's ever spent to fill in a plot hole. That's the place I've laid my trap. That answers your most pressing questions. How exactly did the Rebels get the plans to the Death Star? Did they grab a data tape with a giant claw machine, then use a big antenna to beam the data tape to a ship? And then did that ship transfer the data to another smaller tape? And then did Princess Leia copy that smaller tape onto a tiny droid's hard drive? You know, whoever said this one is as good as Empire must be really into file formats. Meet an all-new gang of Rebels you, uh, how do I put this, shouldn't get too attached to. Like Jyn Erso, the rebellious rebel who rebels so hard, she does whatever her dad tells her. It must be destroyed. I know. We will. Whatever her surrogate dad tells her. Go with him, Jin. You must go. And whatever her new co-worker tells her. I'm coming with you. No, we can't risk it. But sometimes she's pretty grumpy about it. Hmm. Rebelling alongside Jin is K2SO, a droid with more personality than any of the human characters. I'll be there for you. Cassian said I had to. Cassian, a rebel whose most heroic moment comes when he doesn't murder someone for once. I had every chance to pull the trigger, but did I? Saw Guerrera, an extremist cast out of the Alliance by extensive reshoots. Chirrut, the blind guy who's technically not a Jedi, but, I mean, come on, look at this guy. And his friend, uh, Gunny McShootface. I'd add more, but that's pretty much all there is to this guy. Power before the might of the Empire, as various old dudes squabble over who gets credit for the Death Star. We stand here amidst my achievement, not yours! While down on the battlefield, stormtroopers are rolling out in two brand new flavors, but with the same old incompetence we're used to, whether they're missing easy shots. One with the force of the force of me. Casually getting taken out. or setting up their weakness to sticks that the Ewoks would take advantage of. Why do they even bother with the armor at all? Enjoy one of the most beautiful Star Wars films to date that feels like the world's biggest budget fan film. Full of Easter eggs that will have diehard fans saying, Gold leader, red leader. Awesome. The Guardians of the Wills. I get that reference. Hey, it's prequel guy. Blue milk? Cool! Why does nobody ever tell me anything, R2? Okay, I like them. You just bunch of so. So that's where those cantina guys were. They were... walking around. Yeah, the T-15s have been marked obsolete. T-15s? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have to look that one up later. Whoa, what an awesome way to put Tarkin in the mo- Ugh, never mind. And this feels wrong somehow. But nothing will service fans harder and faster than Darth Frickin' Vader, as a much older sounding James Earl Jones tries to give us a new iconic scene. Be careful not to choke on your aspirations. Ugh, who let George Lucas write a line? But just when you think he's been wasted, extend your lightsabers for the most badass Star Wars moment put to film, the hallway scene. Which makes Vader's next fight in the timeline even sillier than it already was. Ooh, do more tricks! Not starring the following shots you saw in the trailers that weren't in the movie. Jin versus a TIE fighter. The group working together. Actual heisting. War-torn Scarif. This iconic shot of Jin undercover. Unused Vader? Saw Guerrera's other haircut. The shot they based the whole marketing campaign on. All these other cool shots. And this line. This is a rebellion, isn't it? I rebel.
Okay, cutting that one makes sense. Suicide Squad, an unnecessary Star Wars story. I'm one with the Force, the Force is with me. I'm one with the Force and the Force is with me. That's not how the Force works. Think the internet has enough Star Wars shows? Think again. We've launched an all-new show with professional youngling Jenny Nicholson to explore the outer rim of the Star Wars universe. Watch this week as she tackles what Star Wars creatures would you eat, then puts her credits where her mouth is in the ultimate galactic taste test. What, what is this meat? Ugh, gross. It's Screen Junkies Millennial Falcon Weekly, and it's free every Saturday on Screen Junkies News. I know him. He's a friend from work. I want that Mulan McNugget sauce, Morty. I popped my pans. I can't wait for Disney to announce the Michael Bay slash M. Night Shyamalan co-directed Jar Jar, a Star Wars story. We all float down here. This is how we do it. It's Friday night.